Hello everyone, my name is Captain Malika Good and I come to you from the Alabama, Louisiana and Mississippi division. This month's theme talks about falling forward and what a perfect way to talk about moving forward as we are near the end of 2020. Today I want to share what God has laid on my heart about moving forward. The thought of leaving the past behind and leaving everything behind and moving forward sounds so promising and sounds so hopeful for some. But for others, that is one of the hardest things to do in life. But all throughout the Bible, the Lord gives us hope in moving forward. And today's scripture comes from Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 through 19, and it says this. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. The prophet Isaiah spoke these words to Israel during a time when they were in captivity. They had lost everything and they thought they would keep these things forever. Because of their rebellion, they assumed God want, wanted nothing to do with them anymore. But God responded, forget the past, forget everything, forget how far you strayed away. I am doing a new thing in your life today. And I love uh, the last section of this verse. I love how God is promising them that I am making a way in the wilderness. I am making streams in the wasteland. I don't know about you, but... I do not like going on hikes. I do not like going anywhere in, in the woods. And so the ideal of a wilderness, I think about all the rocks and the debris and the sticks and everything. But God promises that he's making a way through all of that, making a way through all of the roadblocks, making a way through all the destruction. And um, I think about a wasteland, how everything is just so dry. And God said he is bringing streams in the wasteland. He is bringing water in the wasteland, bringing thirst in the wasteland. So he is making a way for them to leave their past in the past and for them to have this new life. Many of us, when we think about our past, we think about what we've been through, think about our childhood or what we're going through now, um, we think about how things could have gone better or how situations could have gone different. But if we think about that, we might not have known Christ and known God's love like we do now. We may have done things with the world and in the world, either because we weren't aware that God was not pleased with us or because we chose ways that were not in God's will for us. We may have known of Christ and of God's love, but never experienced it personally as a relationship. We treated our relationship with God as a religion and we punched our attendance in church on Sundays. We might have done things in the world with others because we weren't tuned in with the Holy Spirit. And we didn't learn to do God's will for us as of yet. We may have known of Christ and known of God's love personally and that we enjoyed a relationship with Christ. However, we are human and we have made mistakes and wrong choices against God's will even. The good thing is God is so good. God is forever loving, giving, forever faithful, and forever forgiving us if we go to him. He says that we must forget the former things in life and do not dwell on the past. He reminds us that he is doing a new thing for us, for our lives, for our circumstances. 
God is making a way for us where there is no other way. Only when things are down and out and completely defeated can God reveal his might to make the possible the impossible. Do not remain in the past. Whatever it is, shameful past, whatever it is, a hateful past, whatever it is, a grieving past, and any similar thing, bring it to God in repentance and in forgiveness and, and in hope, trusting that God will make it right in his way and in his time. If he has taken the trouble to bring us back into his fold, be sure that he will never let us go. You are his and he is ours. Today, I want to uh, pray that this month begins a new chapter in your life. Today, I want to pray that things start to make sense. Today, I pray that you begin to make peace, that you begin to forgive, that you begin to heal, that you begin to laugh, that you begin to love again, and that you begin to see you again. And today, I want to uh, leave this scripture with you. It's, it's found in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. Today, I want to encourage you and remind you that you are his and that whatever you have gone through in your past, in your childhood, that God is here to remind you that he is bringing new life to you. He wants to bring you a new life. He wants to bring you into new creation. And so I ask that if you are having trouble forgetting your past and letting go of your past, I ask that you seek God today. Seek his guidance, seek his wisdom, and seek him today and have, and have a better understanding of a hopeful future in Christ. Let us pray. Father, I just thank you for who you are. Father, I thank you for your grace and your mercy in our lives today, Father. Father, I just pray that you will continue to guide our steps, continue to help us forget our past. Father, continue to help us know who we are in you. Father, in your word, you tell us that you want to give us a new life, Father, but we have to be willing. We have to be willing to accept that new life, Father, and forget the past, Father. Father, you want to start a new creation in us. And Father, we have to make that step. Father, and I ask that you just come into our hearts, into our souls, and just give us reminders and give us encouragement to take that leap of faith. Father, I just thank you for what you're going to be doing in the new future, Father. Father, as we are ending uh, this year of 2020 and we're entering to 2021, Father, I just pray that your will will continue to be done in our lives, in our community, and in our world. So, Father, we're just calling you today. We ask that your spirit will move throughout us. Father, we love you and we thank you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for letting me uh, be a part of this and God bless.